The ship Sørlandet is the oldest of the three Norwegian tall ships. She was new building, number one at Hoyvolds, Mac, Bergstedt of local shipyard in Kristiansand. The original capital was a legacy of 25,000 pounds sterling established by ship owner O.A.T. Skelbred. The ship Sorlandet was launched in 1927, measured 210 feet and 577 gross tons. She had no engines through Sorlandet's Sailende Skoleskips Institution, a school institution for seafarers to be, she became a vital part in the education of young seamen from the southern region of Norway called Sorlandet. On her maiden voyage, so in 1927, Sorlandet was inspected by H.M. King Hakon and H.R.H. Crown Prince Olaf. Later in the same year, she sailed for London with 90 young boys on board. One of her highlights with the cruise to the World Fair in Chicago in 1933, being the first Norwegian training ship to cross the Atlantic. She actually served as the Norwegian pavilion during the exhibition, a century in progress. The ship Sorlandet became damaged during World War II where she, among other happenings, served as an accommodation vessel for German submariners. She was restored and ready to sail in 1948. Not before 1958, she was equipped with engine. In 1974, she was no longer used as a public training vessel and sold to ship owner Staubu. She became registered in Arendel and laid up at Kilsund at Angkor for three years. She decayed considerably during these years. In 1977, she was bought back at Christiansen by ship owner Skjellbred, who gave her to the city of Christiansen. In 1981, foundation was established, Steve Telsen, Paul Rieger and Sorlandet, which is now the owner and operator. From 1980 to 1983, the ship Sorlandet was the only operative Norwegian sail training ship and, at that time, open cruises for both sexes of all ages and nationalities were offered to the general public. The ship Sorlandet crossed the Atlantic four times in 1981. In addition, she was engaged in a film shoot in New York and performed several cruises between Bermuda and Boston. The most common way of utilizing the vessel in the following years became two week North Sea cruises. However, in 1982, the ship Sorlandet hosted the exhibition. The most common way of utilizing the vessel in the following years became two week North Sea cruises. However, in 1982, the ship Sorlandet hosted the exhibition Woman of the Coast whilst visiting some 60 seaside places along the Norwegian coast all the way up north to Kirkenes. A total of 83,000 people visited Sorlandet during this tour. In 1986, she once again crossed the Atlantic to take part in the 100th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty in New York. From 1986 to 88, about 500 cadets from the Royal Norwegian Navy got their first live at sea experience through six week courses of sailing and training on board the Sorlandet. In the later half past of the 19th, 
She worked closely in cooperation with the Royal Norwegian Navy, Norwegian Ship Owners Association, and the local public employment office. Offering six-week courses in sailing and general seamanship in order to strengthen the recruitment of young seafarers. According to the IMO rules of the 1969 convention, the ships or landed is now 499 gross tons. She is well equipped with air condition both on the Orlov deck, the Banger, and in crew cabins, otherwise she is in her original condition. The main engine is of 560 HP only. In 1980, the ships or landed went through a rehabilitation and in 1988, she again had an uplift. From 2003 to 2007, she is going through an extensive rehabilitation. Now, the ships or landed is administrated by a non-profit foundation. The administration welcomes by paying trainees of both sexes from 15 to 70 years on board for a taste of life at sea on a traditional sailing ship. The home port of the ships or landed is the city of Kristiansand in the south of Norway, where also the administration office is based. The ships or landed sails on a yearly basis. From May to September, it sails from Norway to Europe. Sail on shorter legs in Norway or participate in harbor festivals. The legs are offered to persons between 15 and 70 years, and no sailing experience is required. The ships or landed has a capacity to take on board 70 trainees. Separately, she has a crew of 9 to 15 officers and seamen during the sailing seasons. So landed ship aims to harden its value, deserved upon its history mission at world seas. Therefore, so landed ship selected Dessa Naval Docks belonging to Captain Olu Group in Turkey to repair and restore its fired materials as its origin. So landed ship came to our naval dock on 7th May 2012 and was put into dry dock on 15th of May 2012 and in the same day it was taken to hangar and repairing and restoration of the ship have begun. Clinching of the ship was made as its origin by an expert master team, consisting of five professional staffs who are experienced and qualified on clinching workshop, which are an unused application in the world. Thanks to Sorlandet ship to choose us. We, as Desan Naval Docks, state that we are ready to help and serve with its hardworking managers, engineers and workers by traditional Turkish hospitality. <laughs>